Nigerian wedding of Chinaza Aboni. My name is Obumachi Aboni. I'm her bridesmaid and her sister. You are now in Moses Lake, Washington on August 11th. We are here to witness the marriage of Chinaza Aboni and Levi Oren. It's going to be a beautiful ceremony. So we're actually about to go ahead and meet the bridesmaids now. So come on, let's go. <laughs> Before we meet the bridesmaids, allow me to share with you the significance of this ceremony. In the eyes of our people in Nigeria, the motherland, this is what solidifies the union of Chinaza and Levi. Without it, no marriage will be honored. Today we witness the age-old tradition of marriage in Igbo culture. From the picking of a flower, to the bride price, to special dancing, to the symbolic outfit changing, everything has a meaning behind it. This relationship that began in the late fall of 2021 now crescendos into this beautiful matrimony in the summer of 2023. But rather than this being the end, it is merely the beginning. Chinaza favor Abanyi, the first flower of Brendan and Chikadi Abanyi, the elder sister to Obiomachi, Goziachi, Ebubechi, and Chidubem Abanyi. Once a shy young girl, now a woman of quiet strength, a pioneer in everything she does, sharp minded, cool headed, calm, and calculated valued by many, deeply loved by those closest to her. All eyes are on you, Chinaza, on your wedding day. Ah, wedding day! Wedding day! <laughs> wedding day! Wedding day! Wedding day! Wedding day! We're in this room! We are in this room. Welcome! Make yourself at home! Welcome! Oh, did you get it done? Let me introduce you to some people. See, this is come miracle. Come, this is Miracle Akoli, one of her bridesmaids. Woo! 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 Miracle, what are you excited about today? Everything. 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 I was getting dressed. Getting dressed. It was a good time. Yes. Period. Marty. This is Marty, her friend from Chi Cities. Yes. And we'll be meeting the bride here soon, so stay tuned, stay tuned. And this is Vera, one of her bridesmaids. Where, where did you meet Chinaza? College. College. Dub, and I was a year older than her. She looked my baby sister. <laughs> Met in college. Woo! And this is Chidima. She's here. She's here with her older sister Ani, yes. who's our makeup artist. Let's go meet her. Let's go. Well, Introducing Ani, our stand-in makeup artist, and Ngazi, one of our bridesmaids. Hey. Good. The person we're all here for, Chinaza. Woo! So, so how are you? 
how are you feeling on your big day? I'm feeling very excited, a little bit overwhelmed because a lot is going on, but God is good. And everyone's here. We're here. We're here. We're, here. we're, here. we're ready and we're excited. So. Where, where is the farthest person coming from? Netherlands. We wow. have an auntie all the way from the Netherlands that flew in last night. Wow. But we have people from Houston. We have people from East Coast. We have people from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. All over the world. All over. So, love that. So, stay tuned, guys. It's going to be a beautiful gathering, and we're just here to celebrate Chinaza. Just got here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just so wild. And we are here to rejoice, to celebrate, because in, in, in the scriptures, we say to rejoice, we do that rejoice. What else? A time of celebration. Yeah. God, who made your outfit is so lovely? And oh, oh, uh, auntie. Today is your traditional marriage. Yes, so, yes, so yes, happy I can today. tell when Amen. somebody is doing, doing well. well. Yeah. <laughs> About the traditional wedding, oh man, it's so colorful, it's so fun, the music is awesome, the people are happy, I'm so excited <laughs> to start this wedding. I have loved different cultures, I've always loved different cultures, I never expected to experience a Nigerian wedding in my life, but I fell in love with a Nigerian wedding, so hey, you gotta have both, right? Um, both the cultures coming together is beautiful, it's really beautiful. So. Those who cherish both Chinaza and Levi gathered from near and far to witness Chinaza's Ibanku. Traditionally, the main focus of this event is for the groom's family to bring an abundance of wine for the entire village to enjoy. As you'll see, we didn't need any wine to fuel our own enjoyment. Uh, before we start, I will ask the head of, um, I'll ask the father of the bride to introduce, um, to welcome everybody first. Ibo Queen. Yeah. Nigeria Queen. Yeah. United States of America Queen. Yeah. It's a very big pleasure and honor for me to stand here as the dad of Chinaza. And to see everyone here, I, I'm just so happy and um, just, just give me some joy that this is happening today. So thank you so much for coming. Uh, I can't express in words how I feel that Chinaza was able to follow through from when she, I called the umbilical cord in a, um, in a, Kennewick Hospital in a Cadillac Hospital in Richland up till now that he she just kept keep on moving on and to the point where now she's ready to go to the next level in her life and I'm just so happy to welcome everybody and then please enjoy the ceremony. Hello. So you guys have heard from the father of the bride, uh, he's happy to see everybody here. At this point in time, I would like the groom's family to be welcomed officially. They should line up from here.
Chine ke kare o wani na ye kelegi na mbo tutua na mba e fifia. Haine kelegi makani bu chine ke. Bia kwa oza a ibidoro kwa ba. Kwa roya ni sinaha Jesus. Father we thank you for bringing us here into your presence. Thank you for our in-laws that you brought from far and near. We thank you we receive them with thanksgiving. We pray that Jehovah as we are starting these events we are starting in your name. Take over this event from the beginning even to the end. At the end of the day, everyone that came here will go home safely in Jesus' name. And the couple that we are joining today will find a wonderful bliss ahead of them. We are relieving them with blessings and favor and open heavens. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Ibo Kwenu. Nigeria Kwenu. USA Kwenu Onu. Thank you very much, Pastor. Ibo Kweni? Yeah. Nigeria Kweni? Yeah. America Kweni? Yeah. So, uh, at this point in time, I will hand over the microphone to the father of the bride to so the, he will let us, uh, he will take it from there. Well, the, we see that we. Hello? We want to know why you guys are here. So can Dennis or somebody tell us why why you are here, please? You probably do. Uh, we are here today because last year uh, our son came home and he had found a flower in your garden. <laughs> and today we are here to pick that flower and bring her home to our family. Oh, I'll do it. Ibo Kwenu. Yeah. America Kwenu. Yeah. Nigeria Kwenu. Yeah. Ibo <laughs> Kwenu. Nigeria Kweni? Yeah. America Kweni? Yeah. So, um, culturally, we in Nigeria, Igbo tribe, when we see a woman who we like, we go to our family and say, hey, we'll find somebody that we want. Then they will come with their parents to tell the family that what they're looking for. In olden days, after that, they will go home then the king's men will go around and ask questions to make sure that this family is a family that is acceptable to them before the marriage. And then after that, if they satisfy with their investigations, the lady will go to the bride's, to the groom's family and spend what we call three days with the mother-in-law. Those three days is a period of education the mother-in-law is looking, oh, can, I, can she be my daughter-in-law? Is it going to work out? Is it not going to work out? And vice versa. Oh, can this woman let be my mother-in-law? How is it going to be? They will study themselves. If they agree that they're going to move forward, then Brandon or the will go tell his kinsman that our daughter is about to go somewhere. Then if they agree, so well, this is what we do those days. It has been modified with Christianity and um, development and things like that. But those days, really, you meet a lady you like, you don't talk to her, you go tell your papa or mama. 
Then he goes meet the bride family and they negotiate it's a family negotiation. That's how we said Igbo Kweni, Igbo Kweni, Nigeria Kweni, America Kwezioni. Okay, so let me hand over the mic now to Brandon to respond to what the groom family have said. Igbo Kwen. Yeah. Nigeria Kwen. Yeah. America Kwen. Yeah. So then is um, I'm, I have a lot of flowers in my house. Can you be more precise? <laughs> which flower you're talking about? <laughs> Chant, please. Can we do the chant for yes, here yes, too? Yes, okay. Ibu Kwenu. Yeah. America Kwenu. Yeah. Nigeria Kwenu. Yeah. yeah. This flower uh, is the firstborn. This flower is strong spirit. Strong Christian spirit. <laughs> strong Christian spirit. I'm getting help. Um, she's a leader. She sometimes goes by the name. Stephanie. <laughs> she's the highest jumper because she's pole vaulter. Too. Uh, <laughs> thank you. So hopefully you have a flower that meets this description in your house. We hopeful. Hope you guys came to the right family. Ibo Kwenu. America Kwenu. Now I have an idea, because I had only one pole jumper in my family. And <laughs> so um, the, the person is going to come and uh, welcome you people. So now, Ibo Kweni? Yeah. Nigeria Kweni? Yeah. America Kweni? Yeah. So we're now going to welcome the flower with some music, please. <laughs>
Ibo kweni? Yeah. Nigeria kweni? Yeah. America kweni? Yeah. yeah. For your information, during this period of um, introduction, the man will send all the flowers he has in his house. Other kingsmen will send all the other flowers that are around, that are ready for harvest or nurturing. So as they're dancing, the young grooms here, they, 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 we call them the single men here, should be looking very well, you know. <laughs> if you are interested in any of them, start writing description of what you want. And we're hoping to welcome more people from, their, from your kinsmen to come and join us if you treat our daughters well. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Um, so I think... Okay. Now the next item will be the broken of the collar knots. So collar knot uh, is very symbolic in Igbo culture. Uh, we speak to our forefathers, our God, and everybody that important to us through the collar knot, and he doesn't understand. He understands only one language, the Igbo language. So uh, when, they, when you're blessing the collar knot, you're going to hear the Igbo language. We may interpret if you want to, but Kola North understands only one language, the Igbo language. So you have to learn to speak Igbo very soon. Yes. <laughs> so do you have Kola North here, please? Yes. Okay. So. And Kola North, again, is um, blessed by the head of the family. So the head of the Grooms family will bless the Kola North. That is his responsibility, so I have to look for him. Um, right now, he's able to represented by Mr. Let me see, Mr. Carver. Over to you. Okay, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Ibo Kwen. Yeah. Ibo Kwen. Yeah. Nigeria Kwen. Yeah. America Kwen Zone. Yeah, like my brother said uh, before, handing over the collar knot. It is our tradition that uh, when our in-laws come to our house, we present a uh, uh, collar knot. Collar knot is uh, one of the things we used to embrace the occasion like like this. We never ignore the importance of collar knot in Igbo land when we are doing traditional mar marriage and some other events. And uh, like he said before, Kola North in Igbo land we know do not hear English. It is a real tradition that uh, when we want to uh, do the ceremony, it goes in Igbo language because that's the language, the native language of uh, Kola North. Yeah, uh, for that uh, uh, event, please, I'm uh, saying, please permit me to speak in Igbo language. Igbo kwenu. Yeah. Di kanku na na o Igbo. Oji. Di kai na boy na ni Igbo. Bu hui hani aje me 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 di ko ankai ne na ni me kita. Aibi na be Brendan. Nandi be na wu ye. Ino ya ha maka me me ane me ane meta maka unwa hawa ina anuti. Brenda na wu nandi be wolu wotela yaji. O wala tu tu ha she me ota she me makaji. O go for dinner she. Naji ezi ezi na ka ebu chiela nde wotela yaji. O wale ka kuwa tu ha 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 she kuwa she me anu sureje me. I will lodge in Nukweba. Ogu for the I name Hana Paul or Juliano. I ma ndi ebe mul amulunwa. Do can do suka. I will catch a president do also the chicken. I have a Paul Juliano. We born a Paul Kwe. I see Kaya 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 Kaba Kaya Kaya. Do ko omena na shuedo. Yeah, but na Brenda. 
I I will lodge no hotel. So now she now urges the days in Aka. So why no solution? Un truck I will may have lodge. Ibo Kwenu. Nigeria Kwenu. America Kwenu. Yeah. Nga suya no no Ibo. The color not like um, they introduced earlier is symbolic because it's for unity and it is for showing that something important is happening in an event. I wouldn't want to go further than say uh, I will give you permission to distribute it cool or not the way you did if you feel them right to do. Thank you. Ibo Kwenu? Yeah. Nigeria Kwenu? Yeah. America Kwenu? Yeah. Look how tall the kita I get a ganiru ke aboji. We are going to distribute this color according to the tradition. And my job, a Woloyan Suka neighbor. Because Woloji, Ojilu Ono. Hey, where are you going? Oh, well, oh, yeah, boy, and good states. They will tell you in good states or Oji, neighbor. Yes, oh, okay. Okay. I'm not going to imagine her. Imo, Moabia. I'm not Imo. Ojurulo. Okuo University. Abia, Aboy. Ondibo. Anambra. Anambra. Ojurulo ye ya keboshi. Imo. Imo. Ndiogo. Our in-laws. <laughs> That's one okay? Uh, yeah. Take it off, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do it in Iboland. Then the remaining cola notes we are going to uh, break and uh, share into uh, everybody who wants to partake. to partake. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. When we have this color note, we use it to pray. It's like a food that when we eat it, a fruit, when we eat it, we kind of use it to pray for unity, for peace, and understanding amongst us in Jesus name Amen. in mighty name of Jesus Amen. oh Lord our father the beginning and the end all oh, powerful God we call upon you this afternoon to bless this call or not Bless those who are going to participate in eating it. May it be food of unity, fruit of your uh, love. We pray that when we join these two families, the love they share today will continue ad infinitum. Amen. May God continue to bless us. And for those who have not yet married, to have their own choice of a, a partner and that the love of Christ will continue to grow among us. This we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
guys them follow. Bad energy far away. I thank God for my DUG. Good friends will be money. Nigeria Queen. Yeah. America Queen. Yeah. Chinaza. Um, we we'll have a lot of handsome young men here. I'll give you this cup of wine and you will let us know by offering it to the person that is the right person.
We are going to uh, call the elders to say prayers to bless you. Um, I'm going to have uh, the elders on the table. They will come out here and say what are prayers to bless them. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father, your children are here, kneeling before your altar, altar to bless them, to be fruitful, to love one another, holding themselves together like the cola note we have eaten this, uh, this morning. It is symbolic is a fruit of unity that we are praying before your altar this morning to bless these young couples bless the parents bless the friends may their friendship continue to grow from strength to strength for better and for worse because in life we see the good things of life and we also see uh, cert certain challenges. We are not saying that challenges will not come. But God always give them the heart, the patience, and the determination to overcome all the stresses that may, they may f find in life. May whatever comes, unite them together to fight as one, for, as one force. Amen. And may you continue to give them friends as we have so many of them today, the beginning of many more to come. Lady friends that come will not be those that will create problems, but those who will give them understanding. Because the art of marriage is not uh, something that everybody goes into. It takes some patience. It takes some understanding. It takes some um, bearing with one another. And may you continue to remain one till death do your part. All this we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Elder. By this authority, I have as the dad of the bride, I'm handing a staff of authority to my son-in-law, Levi. Remember, the rib that God used to make Eve came from. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Have a seat. <laughs> there is no way to quantify the amount of uh, material wealth that was used to raise our daughter. So, because of that, just as a token, we would like whatever that. Uh, the family, um, Dennis family can bring, will be a symbol of our appreciation that you take care of her, just like what described by the MC. Ibo <laughs> Kweno. America Queno. Yeah. Nigeria Queno. Yeah. <laughs> we also cannot attach a monetary value. Nope. 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 Uh, to your flower. Um, but we're going to make a deposit today. Uh, and we promise to water and nurture her for the rest of her life.
C'est Siva. Nigeria Quenu. Yeah. America Quenu. Yeah. Just like we have all said, we are not going to use material money to determine the value of our daughter. Uh, I will just take one piece of the money to treat myself to a drink, and I will return the money so that you will use it to uh, take care of her. And also, I see there's another gift here, which I cherish. I would really want to keep the silver, silver uh, medal for myself. <laughs> Ibo Kwenu. Yeah. Nigeria Kwenu. Yeah. America Kwenu. Yeah. I will use this to cherish and nurture her for the rest of our lives. And if I say any more, I might cry. Thank you. Welcome to the family. Ibo Kwenu. Nigeria Kweni? Yeah. America Kweni? Yeah. <laughs> Music, please. Thank you. Hi. Mr. Flavor Bonnie Dance, everybody! Hello! Everybody, let's go! Oh, yeah, follow me, follow me, follow me. Come, come and see me.
Spraying money on the couple is done to display well wishes towards the newlyweds. It also adds to their bank account, which is definitely a win. Anybody can join this dance, okay? Anybody can join, please. Huh? Any mama? Any mama, yes. Any mama for now. Any mama for now. Any mama can join, and any mother can join. Okay. Mother will try. Mother will try. Anyone can try with mother. Any mothers, mothers come and join her. Any, mo any mother here can join, please. Mothers, come and join. Mothers, come and dance. Mothers. Mothers, moms only. Moms, 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 yeah. All the moms come and dance. Moms, moms, moms. Any mama here? Get up and dance. Mamas, mamas. Mothers, mothers and daughter dance. Mothers, mothers, go dance. Mothers, mothers, any mothers here? Now, any child of a mother should join. Any child of a mother, go join, go dance. The child of a mother, everybody. <laughs> any child of a mother, go dance. <laughs> child of a mother. <laughs> any child of a mother, time to dance. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That means everybody. That's me. Child of a mother. <laughs> any child of a mother. <laughs> that means everybody should go dance. Everybody is a child of a mother. Unless you came from, from, from heaven to the earth. <laughs> child of a mother, yeah. <laughs> Are you a child of a mother? You go dance. All child of mothers. Trust is a hard thing to gain, but you gain my love Every day I wake it to I'm thinking of J E S U S Good job. Uh, excellent. So, what did you observe? It's difficult to say. <laughs> well, what is very, very evident is the fact that both of them were laughing. Smile, not just smiling, they were laughing together. Uh, pretty much, wow, you are already one. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. Thank God. Thank you. I observed that you guys work together as you cut your cake. 
hand. It was sweet to see. <laughs> Beautiful form. Uh, went in with the front of it and then came together and you guys both worked together. Uh, Levi's hand underneath and no, Chanaza, Levi, Chanaza, something like that. <laughs> and then it was great. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You were winning. You were winning. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you heard it all. You guys did the work together. That means today going forward, everything you have to do, you have to do it together. Mm -hmm. You have to work together to overcome any challenges and work together to build any joy, to celebrate any joys. Mm -hmm. um, marriage is a wonderful thing, but it's not a bed of roses. Um, but with the Christ, with you guys, you guys are going to um, celebrate Golden Jubilee and until death do you pass, okay? Yeah. Celebration, celebration, celebration. And in the Igbo culture, it may not be appropriate here. In nine months, we are coming to come and see the babies. <laughs> 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 That's Igbo culture. You get married, we expect children. <laughs> Cupcakes in the back. Okay, so I'll get somebody to come and take the cake away with the ushers and the cupcakes on the back to share. Everybody should have a piece of the cake again. This is cake. It's for a traditional marriage between Levi and Chinaza. Make sure you have a piece of the cake, just like a piece of the color nut, please. The dance floor is open. As you've now witnessed, Nigerian culture is steeped in prayer and dancing. While the pictures with the family were being taken outside, friends and family continue to enjoy the music. Common to American culture, a dance circle forms. People are acting shy though, and only the brave and the bold step into the center.
Well, um, my name is Chikodi Abonyi. I'm Chinaza's mom. I am very, very excited and relieved at the same time that one part of this ceremony is over. But above that all, I am, you know, I, I, got, I can't even put my feelings in words because all of you that gathered from all over the place, you guys were in Seattle last month, you were in Maryland last weekend, and you're here. When I think of it, it blows my mind. So, to know that China has pulled, this all, pulled all of you here, I am amazed. I'm just standing and watching her thinking, wow, did that, did that girl come from me? Because I don't know how she did it. So I'm overjoyed and I'm grateful and thank you guys for your sacrifice of love. Woo. Um, tomorrow is going to be gorgeous. All I can say is that, you know, tomorrow's event is a borrowed culture from us, by us. My parents didn't have tomorrow's events. So I am not too... Um, um, how do I put it? I'm not too concerned about what tomorrow will bring because I know today's zone is already done, so tomorrow will just go even better. It gets better. Just to keep her focus on God because I remember, to be honest, when I, I, I was the one that advised her to try the online dating. And we were thinking it was like not something Christians should do. But we were like, wait a minute, who are we to de decide where God can be? So God can also be on internet. God is the creator of the whole world. So this, the way he and Levi met, it was supposed to be a social experiment. So my point is that whatever you are doing, wherever you are, Trust God in that situation and He will guide you. Yes. Uh, my name's Dennis Oren. I'm Levi's father. Uh, Levi just married Chinaza to, well, tomorrow is the, the official one. Um, uh, well, it's all new. So uh, that was interesting. Um, they love to dance uh, more than Americans in general. Uh, it's more colorful than a typical American wedding. Um, yeah, the cola nut was interesting. The dowry I've heard of in the past. Uh, in Bible times they did that, but the money went the other way. I think he paid. <laughs> but, but that was interesting, that was fun. And uh, yeah. It was, it, everybody liked it. They liked the flower concept. They liked the joining together of the families concept. Uh, we don't really have that here like this. So it's, it's a little more personal that way. And also the father spoke a lot, which at a typical American wedding, that doesn't happen. I have some unique issues, I think, because of the two cultures. So when, when I married a girl that grew up in the same church as me, and, and it's the same neighborhood, and we still had family issues. Their family did stuff different than my family. 
So you have to work through those things. And so these guys will have unique ones that I don't know, but I know they'll have some unique differences because of the cultural differences and family differences. Um, it's, it's a good relationship, uh, so I'm not too worried about them. It's a great start. They've done things right from the beginning. Uh, Chinaz is a very deliberate person, thoughtful, really thought through, made Levi date her for over a year before she would marry, say yes to marriage, which I liked. Because Levi, I don't know how soon he would have gone, but he would have gone pretty soon. <laughs> and so I like that. She's more cautious. Uh, yeah, that's a couple things. All right, my name is uh, Solomon Enekori. I'm one of the uh, chaperones of the youth ministry here, the CRM youth ministry in the United States. I, I want to just particularly bless God for what he's doing with the youths all across uh, the United States from the East Coast to the West Coast uh, down to uh, the, the Southern part of the country. And particularly today we are celebrating one of our youths uh, getting married. Uh, that is part of the growth. And uh, we pray for more of this to come uh, in, the, in, the, in the next few months and years to come. Thank you. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up, so there's nothing I can do to let you down. It doesn't take a trophy. To make you proud I'll never be more loved Than I am right now Ooh. Chinaza, my sweet sister And Levi, my brother We love you and we wish you the best In this new life of marriage May your commitment to each other Be kept and strengthened By your shared love for Christ Jesus Amen So I wouldn't try You've never been closer than you are right now. Let's sing it all, y'all. You are a child. You are in So clear what it's all about. Just stay by my.